What's up guys, it's JWebs again. Uh, this is my take on a simple uh, lighthouse for your RP servers or just any server in general. I, I, I've never really seen anyone make a lighthouse or maybe maybe it's happened, it's pretty rare. But uh, this is just my six uh, searchlight setup for uh, a lighthouse. Um, I have it run on timers in one set, or sorry, one second increments. Um, the lighthouse is a, the light is a little bit jumpy. Um, I wish it was a little more smooth, but uh, until they have something you can put on that can spin, I think this is our only option. Or just making it bigger um, to where there's more lights, making it a more smoother transition. But I know there's a lot of people on here that are not quite uh, comfortable with electricity or don't know how to make such a thing. So uh, I'm going to show you a simple setup that should be straightforward and easy to do here. Um, give me one sec, let me change the time. Alright, so down here I have a simple setup. I'm using siren lights instead of uh, search lights, but I am going to give you the values for everything so you set it up properly. You can put as many or as little lights as you want in the sequence. Um, so far all I've really seen is alternating light setups, but I've never seen sequential lights So I wanted to kind of put my input on this whole ordeal out there um, So we'll go ahead and start with uh, powering all the timers um, With a 13 power output from the uh, branch here. So make sure you set all your lower uh, Branches that are below the timers to 13 so it'd be this one this one and this one and then uh, you can just run the normal power for the blocker uh, input. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. Just run these power lines up. Okay, so then you just want to put the outputs from the timer into the bottom of the top branches, just like so. And then make sure all these branches are set to 10, even though uh, these lights do not take 10, but that would be the equivalent of what a searchlight would take. So you just branch them out. And then each of the power out of each branch goes to the pass through the blocker, essentially the blocking function on the blocker. So when these uh, uh, timers are activated, it'll, uh, It'll go ahead and block the next timer from activating. So just like this. And then the last, uh, so essentially now the power outputs of these blockers will go to the toggle on function of the timers. So actually, let me set these timers real quick here. So I'm just going to set these, whoops, I'm just going to set these timers to one just to give you an idea, and I believe you can set them lower than that, it just depends on how uh, quick your server wants to respond to it. Um, the, the lower the time you make, the, the less it has to register what's going on, so you can actually set these timers to like a 0.5 or a 0.35, even 0.25 or lower. But depending on the latency of the server, you might not, uh, it might not register with all the other components and it would cause it to not work properly. So I'm just going to set it to 1 just to show um, sorry, uh, just to show how this works. So you're going to do the power out um, of the blocker to the next timer. So just like this. And then same here. And then I have the power out. So this is the one that essentially goes back to the first one. But I have a uh, or switch right here in which the blocker power will go Actually, no, I don't want to do it this way. I want to do it this way. So this would essentially come out, come down to input A of the OR switch, and then the switch that I made to toggle on and off will come down to the other input, and then this will go back into this blocker. Sorry about that. Um, and then the output will go ahead and do a cycle back through to this one. Essentially, I don't have enough power coming through here. Give me one second. This one 14, that should fix it. Yep. 
So the last one, you, if you want to do it this way, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but I'm just kind of doing this on the fly here. Um, make your last one of the sequence that goes into the OR switch to be uh, 14 instead of 13, because it's going to require one extra power to get through this OR switch. And then you should be able to just flip this switch, and it'll go ahead and shut it off. We'll flip it and turn it back on. So there's your power to this whole system. Um, I'd like to make more videos like this, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, shoot me a, uh, a DM on Reddit, or uh, uh, actually you can message me on YouTube, um, and uh, see you next time.